where are we putting all this? Are we on boot camp? Yeah, we're on boot camp. We uh on volume photography. We're on uh, YouTube. Everybody subscribe to the YouTube channel. First thing, because we it's kind of hard. Like we have no idea. I think a lot of people are watching, but we don't know between all the different um, YouTube channels um, or the channels we broadcast to. So don't you think it'd be better if everybody watched on YouTube, Justin? I think so. Instead of, I mean, it's easy to watch from Facebook, right? Cause you're here, but YouTube definitely is more interactive for us. We just, we have no clue like who's watching, who's liking our stuff. I do get DMS later. People DM us later that watched that We didn't even know watched us, which is awesome but it sucks that we didn't know that they were lurking in the first place you know right and it'll help like if we can get like um what do you mean um if we can get you know discounts and stuff <laughs> and share them with everybody right <laughs> we get, yeah. we get the, like discount codes so that way when we're doing the show at least we can share those with with people yeah i don't know what those numbers need to be i don't know if we'll ever get there but there's um i'm sure there's milestones i don't yeah. know yeah yeah i see Hi, everyone. How's it going today? Copy. Jay's rude and just starts talking and doesn't say hi. Sorry about that. Sorry. Yep. Hello. 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 <laughs> okay. So I think that's, uh, I just, cause I'm, I'm busy. I'm, I'm trying to get everything. <laughs> You're like me last week, just freaking yeah. out a little bit. He's yeah. trying to get his switcher all dialed in five minutes before the show. There We're really go. good at that. The beard in the boat, the beard in the boat, uh, YouTube channel there. Why is it three, six, one, four? Is there 3,613 other Beard in the Boat channels? No, that is weird, though. You can change that. You can go to settings and change what your screen name looks like, I think. I don't know. Okay. You set this up. I didn't do it. Yeah, I know. You set things up. This is the problem. But, you know, it's the same thing with uh, Boat Right Boot Camps. Like I set everything up thinking that, oh, we're going out to San Diego and it's going to be like, there's 10 photographers there and I may or may not ever do this again. So let's just, you know, just call it something and go on. And then now it's gotten bigger and you have set corporations. It's just hodgepodge. Like, we got people yeah, asking yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah. So now it's like a thing where I got to go get really official. I have to go this week. I have to get all the information together. Hope, well, this week, is it this Thursday already? Yeah. I've got some deadlines. I'm a little behind on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this week I was planning on having like all my hotel information done and everything completed. And it's just we've I had to shoot preschools every morning and um uh preschools and then a shoot in the afternoon. And they've been big shoots, like on top of a big weekend. I can't even remember what I did this weekend. I, I remember some of what you did only because I couldn't believe how far you traveled in the last two weeks and how much stuff you've done in different states. Like you're a madman. <laughs> Yeah, it's. I feel a little bit like a madman at this point because I don't yeah, even remember. Uh, I think we did. Oh yeah, we did our first. Um, it was really interesting because we had our, our first league and, uh, or, or this the first time we shot this league, and it was out on the other side of town. And one of our biggest league or, or the biggest league we had. I, I, well, we didn't talk about this last week, right? I don't even remember <laughs> when we do two close together. I think uh, we might have a little bit. Yeah, Brian. No, we haven't. We've talked about it briefly. Like we've both been like slammed. So we we've talked about it. We had the logo we talked about last week. We still haven't decided on that. I see Brian. Yeah, there's Brian right on cue. Yeah. Right. So yes. Um. Yeah, we've got a lot to get, catch up on, I suppose. Yes, and there was um somebody on Facebook that friended me, and I need to go back and and look. And he was so kind. I haven't even told you this, Justin. I mean, we we talked a lot this week, but I haven't even told you. He's a new friend. Um. Uh, the, his name's Rod Bowerman. Thank you, Rod, if you're watching. He was watching the show and he did a little uh, a logo mock up for us. So it was super nice. So, but what's um, funny is both of us have gotten that a DM from him. I've already got the logo. I haven't talked to you about it yet either. So he's both. He sent us both. He's yeah. super kind man. Yeah, and he yes. he um he had some neat things to say, and it was really fun to hear from him. And that's what I kind of mean by there's people watching we don't even know. Correct. And the logo he took what we said and he kind of did what you know what we were we were asking for. I like it. I think it's great. We haven't even hit on it yet though. So yeah. So thank you, Rod, for that. That was very nice. Uh, <laughs> it's been a week. I mean, I just <laughs> now talked to my mother for the first time. In two weeks earlier today, so I've, I'm, I'm this time of year. I feel like I'm bad at everything. I'm bad dad, bad son, bad everything because it's just it's overwhelming. Crazy. But anyway, last weekend we go to a um 
a field for the first time. And it was, I, I had a feeling it was a pretty big league because we had bid on this athletic association a while ago and um, a year, years, probably eight years ago. And it was one, my competitor that our main competitor here. And I had two competitors at the time. And those two competitors before we got into the game were all about, um, it was back in the day where there was a lot of b- bunch of tchotchke stuff. Like people would compete on, Hey, I got the late, I have an ESPN magazine cover. So you're going to want to go with my, my company and this, you know, and labs were exclusive, like lab, like, you know, a photo day signs up everybody. Well, yeah. back in the day, if you had a group photographers, GPA is who we were. So if they had a photographer in Atlanta, they wouldn't have another photographer in Atlanta. It's crazy, right? I mean, they yeah, would have that's, maybe smaller. That's like but, cutting your own business off for printing, right? Like, because what do you right, care? But the thing is, every every lab had their custom products. You see what I'm saying? So you can yeah. only get this product from this lab, and it was. It took, I guess it took that long for everybody. To like, okay, now every lab has the same stuff. It's ridiculous for you to like not take customers into the same area. So, um, they would be with different labs, and you know, labs would have only a certain amount of customers in a city. And they would just have, you know, ridiculous items, salesy type items out because all the photos were terrible. It's like, can you put this on a necklace? Can you put it on, you know, what can you put the photo on? That's going to determine who we're going to go with. And then the giveaways, you know, give you all the money in the world back. So we um, bid on this league. It was lacrosse. And at the time it was like, it was something crazy, like, you know, 700 lacrosse players. It was huge for us back in the day. And um, they sent us the big, the big, I don't know what you call it. Um, just whatever it is, you know, they want. And it was like rebate, big ask. Free, yeah. free, 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 like all these free stuff. And I was like, we submitted our bid and then we just forgot about it. It's like, I'm, we're not even going to, they responded back and they wanted all, but can you do this, that, and the other thing? Like, no, we're, we can't. So we um eventually, now we got the baseball program, which is great. And, um, I don't know why I didn't put two and two together. It was the same. It was just because we were so busy. I didn't even think about it. And I get there and it is, I look at the schedule. And I was like, wait a second, we're shooting from eight to four fifteen. That's a big shoot. Like that's, you know, two photographers going eight. That's a, that is a busy shoot. I don't even know how many teams we shot. I think, I, I don't know what it was. It was a lot. Um, but when we pull up and, you know, um, if you have a league that big, typically this is the advice. Make sure you go to the location and look at where they're going to have you. Like 100%. Drive by it before, you, before you're shooting yeah. for some time. Yeah. Minimum Google Maps. Minimum. <laughs> but, Aerial. Yes. And so I committed like a rookie mistake. I didn't go. I'm thinking this is a huge leak. Surely we're going to feel. And I pull up that morning. <laughs> Never been to the park before. And I'm like, Karina, there's no field number on our paperwork. Where are we supposed to go? And they said, it's an open area behind the rec center. I'm like, oh my, as soon as I hear open, open area. area, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> they didn't use or, the term field in any way. <laughs> yeah. As soon as they hear open area, I'm like, oh, and we pull up and that is it's on the side of a hill. I mean, it, it's very hilly where I live. We're right at the base of the Appalachian mountains. It's very hilly. And it's like 80 teams or whatever. And we're on the side of the hill. How in the hell are we supposed to do this? It was it was, yeah, it was full panic mode. And then trying to think about carrying the gear all the way up the hill. Uh. Yeah. So, yeah. So it ended up, we, it, it wasn't as funny, open area, tall grass. Actually, it was open area gravel. <laughs> they uh. were, like, they had and the slope grass, and a hill. <laughs> but they actually had like a, probably it was maybe 10 foot deep and probably 40 foot wide of a flat spot at the top of the hill on beside of the sidewalk was a walking trail and that's where we ended up shooting. And it was on, um, gravel, basically gravel. There was like a little tiny patch of grass, but, uh, the only good thing is, is that the kids were looking pretty much straight West. Maybe it was, they were looking away from the sun and it was a gigantic hill behind them. And so I got some really good skies. So actually the photos and as much bitching that I did, the photos turned out fantastic. So, <laughs> happy about that I, I i was fully prepared to have all this space yesterday and ha- i brought a bunch of stuff i was excited to do some fancy lighting schematic stuff and then all of a sudden they're like uh, we have the concession stand that you can shoot in what 
So I shot, did you not see that? I shot in the concession stand. That's those baseball pictures I posted last night late. Oh. Those were all shot in a concession stand. <laughs> That I didn't is... even get my big softbox, so I had to use an umbrella, which was awesome because umbrellas are amazing and cheap. If you and if you know how to shape your light, it really worked out really great. And I shot with a silver umbrella, and I gave a little more specular highlights to the players, and I think it kind of made those pictures pop a little more. So happy accident there, having to use that. I mean, not an accident that I used it, but that I had to because my other gear didn't even fit in the space. Pretty wild pretty well yeah that's just and i used my stands to hold up my black backdrop and i the same stands that are holding up the black backdrop i just put the strip lights and right on those stands so they were a little higher than normal but you know what i really liked out of that is i really liked the way the lights hitting the cheekbones and stuff having that little bit higher strip light i haven't ever really put the little one up that high and it worked out really great but mm -hmm. but yeah talk about just reinventing the wheel every time when you get into situations like that thank god we can we still know, you know, the little nuances that make a good photograph. So you can, as long as you hit those things, you're going to be okay. Yeah. I mean, there was a certain point that I got, you know, I was just like, this is going to be terrible. And then at some point, like, okay, <laughs> it's doable. Well, as soon as you hit that, it's point, working. It's doable. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. We're going to, we're going uh, to be it's good. It's that moment right before a shoot where you kind of freak out. A little. You have this little moment of, hmm, is this going to work? We'll see. You know, are these going to be bad? Are they going to, you know, what's going to happen? But, <laughs> I think doing it for 12 years now, it's it gets it's not as bad that feeling, but I still get it sometimes. Still get the yeah. anxiety, if you want to call it that. And I think that's just from lack of not necessarily knowing because it's always when I'm in a position I hadn't been in yet and I have to I have to work through that. So, well, it's good. Like it, it makes you better photographer in the end, but it's, you know, it, it was a, a stupid mistake of mine to n not like realize how big of a league that was and to not at least look on google maps figure out where we're gonna shoot i just assumed i just assumed big league or on a baseball put me on any baseball field i'll find an angle you know mm -hmm. to, to make it work and then we weren't and the thing is, is like they were like uh go over there and talk to, to this guy or my contact was super nice but then you know she wasn't there yet so i had to go and um talk to one of the guys getting the fields ready you know those coaches those board members that are getting fields ready they don't want to talk to a photographer no, they hate us. They they're like, yeah, it's up there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just like, <laughs> you know, yeah, it's up there. And it, you know, I had and it's not. Hey, can we help you pack your gear since we kind of screwed you and it's so far nope. away? It's no, nope. nope. it's well, over there. It, it's and it's what the other photographer did. Like I, uh, I obviously we picked the same spot, which I was impressed that they even picked the same spot as me because they're kind of. <laughs> <laughs> so uh they uh we picked that spot and that's where they had done it for year after year but i was like to those guys i'm like dude you know like the reason why <laughs> you chose us is because you saw our photos from the park that is literally the other park that were, was literally three miles from there that we were going to be at the next day yeah. and those photos are always beautiful <laughs> but it's a whole different situation it's like that field those fields over there eight turf fields and they're beautiful and they're like they block off the whole parking lot for us so cars don't park in a background. There's somebody there to greet us. Do you, you know what I mean? It was like completely different experiences from to the, now. I think the league that we just shot after a couple of years will get to to the where well, they'll trust us a little bit and we'll get yeah. a little bit better treatment when we first roll up. But boy, when you are at a at a league for the first time and they don't know who you are, they just don't expect any special treatment. That's for sure. No, not at all. A hundred percent. I mean, you yeah. got to kind of prove yourself, right? You can't just, you got to, you got to gain people's trust. You don't just, or you don't just get it, you know, it's got to mm -hmm. be earned. So. Yeah. And oftentimes the person who hired you is not the same person that's going to be at the location that day. Almost right? every time. So yeah. it's like the person who hired you, they loved your photos, but the person who's actually at the facility, when you come in, they just think they don't have any idea, you know, who you are. Like they don't realize like, Hey, you know, we really want to do a good job. So it'd be nice if we had a good place to take photos here, <laughs> right? Y'all hired yeah. us because we have a certain look. So we mm -hmm. kind of need some facilities and they don't know that. And they right. don't really care. They don't, they don't care at all. They got, they got a lot of other stuff going on. They don't, you know, it's, that's why we do what we do and they do what they do. So, hmm. but yeah, that is a pain. I feel that pain a lot. I think that we all, everybody has to, right? Yeah, I mean, if you do it long enough, yeah, you get to the point where, you know, um, yeah, I mean, I that, that happened to me twice this week. I did a little uh, 
team that's an hour and 15 minutes from here is one team I never shoot at that park. Um, and they just didn't want to see me when I pulled up. It was like, it's so weird. It two, happened two weeks, two times in a week where they weren't happy to see smacks. Usually people really happy to see smacks. And it was like, dude, it was weird. It was just, it's hard to stay motivated when that happens. I mean, it happens to us a lot. My daughter noticed it her first week back from um, Hawaii. We went and did a shoot and mm -hmm. we get in there and get into the gym. Nobody cared. We were in there. We set all our stuff up in the corner, you know, while everybody kind of just did that. Nobody greeted us. Nobody said nothing. We had to kind of go search. They ran way long, right? We were 15 minutes past when we were supposed to start and they're still uh -huh. practicing. And I'm just like, yes. Do you guys even want us here? Like we can come back or try again. Like, I don't know. You know, I, I hate that feeling. Hate it. Yeah. I was not excited about that. That was like, especially that was a, um, a day where we, um, were really tired. It was a, I didn't realize that I even had the shoot till like a few hours before and I'd drive an hour. <laughs> yeah. Right. Look at the, look at the calendar thinking you had nothing. And then yes, all of a sudden, I, oh, I, shit, I gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I had to go. And it was like, I was like literally laying on the couch. Out the like, oh my God. Oh yeah. I was just like, I was just, Oh my God. I just can't, I just got, I got to stop. And Karina calls me and I was like, I know I got to go pick up, um, Juan's our, uh, exchange student from Brazil. And I, had to, I was like, I gotta go pick up him up from school. And, and she didn't say anything. And I was just like, I don't know. But what happened? And she's like, you have a shoot tonight. I was like, no. And it's an hour and a half oh, away. And it's an hour. And, yeah. and it's one hour. team. <laughs> yeah, one team. One team. Yes, it was one team. Oh, yes. my gosh. One team. I was a banner shoot. You know, for me, it's like it's a new league. So I'm always like, okay, my thought process is, okay, if I, we do a good job here, maybe we'll get the, the whole league. So it's like, I'm just going to cancel. Like, no, don't cancel it. I'm not like – still not in the position to where I want to just like throw away $600. You know what I mean? I get my ass up and go drive. drive I love that. it. Your teams are 600, mine are 200. So it's totally different. <laughs> well, it's uh, cause we do banners and the mini banners and hopefully sell. And it might not be that big uh, given that um, the reception that I got, I felt like people were talking about me. You know, just, <laughs> like, like they already hated you. I didn't even you. There. Like when I got there, there was a lady that was confronting the coach about the scrimmage game that they were supposed to be playing. Like you need to tell us. He was like his face was red because he was getting his ass chewed. There was not one assistant coach in uniform. Hmm. So that was weird, and the whole situation was a little bit crazy. But they want their banner, so um, you know it is is what it is. So. Yeah, well, that pros. Was... I mean, sometimes you got to take the good with the bad. I think when we forget that I do anyway, I get, I get really, I get sensitive about that stuff. Like if they don't like me or don't want me there, that bums me out and I don't oh, want to yeah. try very hard. Yeah. So I mean, yeah, I lose all motivation. I mean, yes. And then your pictures aren't as good and blah, 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 blah. So it just keeps rolling down. So yeah. The only us, thing that yeah. really saves you is the kids, right? Like, yeah, for me, like they're, little they really kids. do. A lot of times they save you. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you're like dealing with like, what kind of, weird situation is this and there was another team that was scrimmaging and they were practicing all around me and i'm just like this is just the strangest shoot and then but then as soon as you, the first kid comes up and he's smiling and he's happy then then you realize why you're of, doing it yeah, yeah yeah then it goes away yeah. then you're okay but then it was it, it was it was weird then it was the kind of thing where i was by myself and um i had to i forgot my wagon so i had to carry you know a couple things at a time uh, but you load it up like you, you're coming from yeah, the grocery store like right one, one trip it just yeah like, it was like the one field in history where I had to walk like 200 yards to the mm -hmm. to the thing, you know. So yeah, it's it's a lot of. I was uh, we had gymnastics too this week, the most beautiful day of the year, and I'm we're in your the, energy. I, yeah, so we had gymnastics, and I'm talking to the gym owner, and we've done it for years. And I was like, look, you know, we were talking about he was really busy too. Like they they it was it was really kind of fascinating because he had a, a gymnastics and he had a cheer gym attached, right? And they, um, he had, they were really worried through COVID and, uh, it was interesting cause they're from up North and he said that his family was really mad at them for opening their gym during, you know, COVID period. Mm -hmm. He's like, dude, I had to, I have to, like, I don't I mean, <laughs> we're going to lose everything if I don't open up and, you know, start, you know, the business over again. So he did. And it was some rift in his family. So we were kind of talking about how's the family going and, um, uh, he said they got rid of cheer as well. They got rid of cheer. And he's like, we were really worried they were going to lose half our income because that was, you know, they had two buildings. One half was, the business. Yeah. yeah. One was gymnastics and they had two smaller buildings, which were basically ended up being the same size for cheer. 
And he said that they were, it was almost to a detriment of their health, how bad it was, like how toxic that whole, maybe they've been warned, they said, but they say it's a different, a different animal. Cheer and gymnastics, completely different parents, athletes, different situation, a lot more stress in, in their, in their particular gym, a lot more stress involved on the cheer side than the gymnastics side. So they closed the cheer side and now they doubled their gymnastics and they're more profitable, profitable than they've ever been. I was like, half wow. year sounds like it. They yeah. got the crowd they wanted in the first place. So they knew the, right. they figured out who their audience was and then, mm-hmm. and then just leaned into that. Yeah. That's yep. smart. That's smart. Well, that's something for us all to kind of learn too, right? Like we're so scared sometimes of losing an account because of the, the money part of it, but it's making us miserable. And then, you know, so we don't do it and we're just miserable. Like we, <laughs> we had that, you know, I talked about it before we had an account that we were, you know, it was like a $30,000 a year account. And, um, it just got to be, it was a bad relationship. They were asking too much of us. We weren't happy. They weren't happy. We broke off and we still had the best year we ever had last year. So. Right. Right. You know. I mean, there, that happens all the time. That's just how it works. What is, um, fired some, that's a hard thing to do. I don't know who wrote that. Fired customers before. Yeah. Air right. Gosh, it's so bad. I'm so bad. I've done that. it. I mean, you were, I was on the phone with you one day freaking out because I had a 400 kid soccer league four hours away that I fired because they were trying to get me to do things. I couldn't, I could not do it. I was going to fail. So that was I want to go up there and fail. That's a big league for me to just say no to. Hmm. <laughs> In a really so, nice place. Like I loved it. But when the board changed and the people got weird, it was like, I, it's not worth it to me. Mm-hmm. And it's four hours, four and a half hours away. So it's a long drive for us. Do you feel like that, that like you, you've made up for it already? Absolutely. Didn't even notice it was gone. Yeah. That's the best thing. Didn't even know. The only thing I noticed was that I had a little more free time that one weekend that we always have. <laughs> which was yeah, nice yeah, you yeah. know it didn't suck free, free time would actually <laughs> yeah. be really nice yeah yeah so you posted some um softball photos softball, softball and people? baseball those are just all seniors at one of the schools yeah yeah those looked really good it was super um, cool. that was what i shot in the concession stand uh <laughs> fire leagues due to parents yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. What, have you uh, been to a little kid's game lately like parents need to chill out like there's a lot of games left in your lifetime. Like you're gonna lose, you're gonna lose your mind. Chill out. I haven't, I haven't, but I'm going to because um Stevie's son, Bo Stevie works at um Photo Day. She's also my niece, and she lives in our town. And her son Bo is on the T-ball team, so I'm excited nice. to go go back to that. And then um T-ball's fantastic. We're gonna be Makes doing no sense. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. And he's the littlest guy. Like he's he's so tiny. He's not gonna be able to hit it out. <laughs> I don't know if he'll be able to hit it out of the infield. If he's out of the infield one day, we're we're celebrating that night. You probably uh, can't even hit a ball off a tee out of the infield. When's the last time you swung it back? Long time. I don't yeah. do that. I'm it's not that. Throat. It's not as easy as people think. No, I'll pull a hammy doing anything like that. I have, to warm, <laughs> I have to warm up fully first. The full warm up. Uh, I, I told you I'm getting close to fighting weight, so. Like we can go swing so a bat funny. here pretty soon too. Oh, Bo can hear us. Bo can oh, hear good. Us. Yeah, I'm so excited. Uh, we got Scott. Oh, it's Coach banner. He did a um, uh, he did a uh, big banner for his little team. So I can't wait to see that. He's That's the Yankees. Awesome. Unfortunately. Awesome. Oh, and we're doing their photos next week too. And the weather's gonna be good. Well, you better if your family's on the team. Yeah. Yeah. Well. I, well, we didn't. We got. Um, it's a local league. And this league is is funny because it's one, a league that was started off as one of our smaller leagues, and it's huge now. It's huge. It's gigantic league, over 100, 800 kids, and so they're the second biggest in our county now. But then I got the football league um, this weekend too. So in between going to those big shoots, I went to a board meeting, and we landed the uh, big football league. So um, I'll be asking some of you guys for some help possibly – I'll yeah, what is it? Was that is it 1600 teams or players? What no, no, it's um, they're, they're expecting between 1600, 16 and 1800 football and cheer, so cool. that's just one league. So that's a that's a big program. It, it's comprised of six programs, um, six school, dist- school districts. Okay, let's see. 
six school districts that are in the county. I don't know. I'm not saying it right, but they're all playing one league. You know what I mean? So each has their little second. So the whole county comes to this one football league. And so we got that contract. Um, so yeah, we're really, we're really fired up about that. That's going to be, I mean, you're going to need like day. six shooters a day. Like, yeah, you- that's going to be fun to, um, we've been trying to think about the numbers. What do you do when you have 1600? Did you got to get through? Um, just the managing the people in itself is a huge yeah. deal. Yeah. We do have one facility that's got, is kind of big open fields, you know, but where's um, is there enough parking? Like, I yeah, worry about, I wonder about that. Yeah. This one particular place has a lot of parking. It's just like this huge soccer complex, but it had the, their soccer slash football fields. And what's good about it is the league is so big that we can pretty much, you know, pick a, a, a best place. There is a, a field much closer, but it's one field. So this one has like five football fields. So if we can do that and, and maybe possibly take up two fields and then we'll just have to do the numbers, like how many photographers we need, you know, uh, for each team. The thing that um, will be a challenge, I think, is the buddy shots because when soon as we get a league for the first time and we tell them that they – because they've, they've been in paper order forms forever, right? And then yeah. we come to a league and we're like, hey, there's no paper order forms. That means that you can have, you know, coach player shots and you can have, um, you know, sibling shots and that's – there's no charge if you want to do that and you don't have to fill out any paperwork. You can just come do it. Well, when that happens, then whew, floodgates open. So we're yeah. going to really account for the time and have a really good system to run those buddy photos through. Otherwise, we're going to get stuck. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you are, I mean, you know, you're good at that. I mean, already, but, and people probably don't necessarily know the tricks to that, but you teach it at boot camp. So, yeah, that's, that sounds about something like that. Um, right by five to six. Yeah. yeah. That sounds about right. Um, yeah, I would love to throw uh, a dozen, <laughs> put a dozen cameras. I would love to do that. That means uh, <laughs> for each camera, that's at least three lights, right? So you have to have, you know, uh, for us. Um, yeah. I mean, you you could get away with two per if you had to, and still be, just flatten that front yeah, one out. Yeah, I, I we could if it wasn't so big, possibly, but that's just so big. Trying to manage them to go to another area and then come back for their team photo. Mm, yeah. And it's quicker, I think, to just pose like, don't move that kid, throw the buddy in real quick. Yeah. 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 It's yeah, way you, quicker. Yeah. Yeah. So you, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And Kathleen's right. You got, yeah, screen scrims, you have stands like, so, but I, I do, I think it's going to be probably between five and six um, individual stations. And then hopefully we'll have three or four, well, three team areas. You don't even have that much gear and you got a lot of gear. Like, you're probably going to have to rent stuff. No, I ain't rent nothing. I mean, it's so cheap now just to buy it. The thing about renting is so hard. Like we, well, I guess where do you, you rent? You, have Godox, there. You, you can rent Godox from um, one of the online. I don't know. Person. I have never, I haven't had to rent for a long time. So I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what the process is anymore. Yeah. Our, I used to rent all my cameras and stuff from like lens rentals.com. It's I, when I'd go film Miss Oregon and stuff, we, I didn't have all that gear. I wasn't going to buy. I couldn't afford a hundred grand worth of gear back, especially in, when I was new. Mm-hmm. So we would just go rent a bunch of Canon's cameras, cinema cameras, and just have them shipped right to us for, you know, the weekend, hammer it out and then ship it all back. It was actually really nice. Yeah. I, um, I, uh, our local, uh, camera shop or rental places just like pro photo Ellen Chrome. They're not going to, I don't think Godox is built for rental. No, it's not. You know, a little, I mean? plas- little just, plasticky. Yeah. 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 I mean, they're pretty tough, though, for what they are. I'm not going to, I can't sit here and bash them. They've, I mean, I, bro- I broke my pro photos, I think, more than I broke these Godoxes, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. But I was, well, I ran over a pro photo once and well, still worked I mean, for a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, the only thing I think that if I could improve, like the Godox or some sort of on, you know, system that was on site, it's just, you know, the weather sealing part, you know, would, would be nice. Um, longer lasting batteries are always good, but I think that if you have a longer lasting battery, then you're going to have to talk about a lot of weight that's going to be built into the, you know, I, I love the, um, I mean the 1200, the fact that it has the, um, you know, what do you call it? The, the separate head and box there. Mm-hmm. Um, I, th- I love that. I think that's it's a great the, uh, that was when I was buying my pro photos. It was those acute air 600s and that, uh-huh. that's what they were. And they were, they were brilliant. Holy cow. And especially like 
they just made the sling right onto the box and you put it over your shoulder and your assistant just ran around like wherever you wanted them to go. Same thing with the out in the field. You just hang up, hang it on the, hang it on the stand, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's nice. Yeah. What do you think about this? Here is a good, who, I don't know who said that. Um, there you go here. Uh, I think it's Ross Bottle. Ross. Yeah. Um, I'm interested to see, like we have a blue Eddie. Um, do you have any portable chargers? Like I, I do. I haven't even used it yet. I got it. I got the one at Costco cause it was a pretty sweet deal, but it's a thousand watt one. I got, I got a big one. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's so many companies in it cause, um, John Scott at Robert's camera has a brand, but those aren't going to come in. <laughs> like he said, as soon as he got them in, they sold out. They're not coming in until late. Oh, wait, what it, where are we at? March, um, late March. And then anchor. I like anchor products, you know, all the little charging things. Anchor mm -hmm. has, a, um, they have, they probably have a dozen of those things. Just depends how much you need, but we, we need to buy one more. We have one. We need one more. Usually and do you all, use it for recharging. Yeah. And it works fine. Yeah. I mean, it, I wish it charged a little bit faster, but I think it, it works. We're, we're happy with it. It's, you know, when you're in a pinch and you have no, you know, if you're out far away, like we were at that shoot where they put us up on top of the hill. There's no power. Yeah. You know what I mean? We had to, we had to charge right there. Yeah. So um, that was like, that would have been bad. That would have been really bad if we didn't have that. And it, oftentimes it's just, you need a couple of batteries. It's not like I, we need to recharge the whole thing. It's just like, um, yeah, you usually just have a few that are low and you got to, you just got to finish. Right. And yeah. so you're like, get the, grab those other ones. They've only been on the charger at half hour. I don't care. Yeah. And what about camera batteries too? I mean, you know, if you're shooting from, from eight to four thirty, all day batteries, long. Yeah. Look camera. at, looking at that back screen. Yeah. You're going to need, you're going to always have to be charged. So when I shoot schools back in the old day, when I used to shoot with the Nikon, I would uh -huh. always have to have one charging. Cause two hours in my camera was dead. Another two hours would go like, it just, I was always flipping my battery. Yeah, we have the um the can the um I have the R three and the batteries are really big and fat and they're they're great. Like I have to change maybe I have to change one time during the shoot and I might just I, I hardly ever go down one tick, you know. Um, mm -hmm. but the R sixes have a little small ba small battery, so we have three of the R sixes and um there's we have the battery grip, which get a battery grip. Please. You have to. <laughs> yeah. Um, so we um, do the battery grip. And if once once one battery goes down to like 50%, then I take it out, start charging it. And you know what I mean? Then keep the other one in there. So you just always have something going. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Yeah. That's um, that's Nick Shube giving us all his, you know, guaranteed he's had to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 I've got, I got a couple of, I have a couple of those guys that I haven't had to start them up in a while. They're just loud. I That's want to see Nick driving down the freeway with a big Honda 5,000 watt generator just strapped to the top. Well, oh, shit. Rashad. Eight? Damn. Damn. Dude, doing high school sports is tough. It's, it's tough. To, you got to have a really good system to make money on that because those kids are excited to get their photo made, but they are not excited to tell their parents where to go to get them. So yes. if you don't have direct, if you yes. have a really good system for communicating with the families of the kids that you're photographing, you're wasting your time. Yes. You're I, wasting I even it. Think even if you do have a good way to keep Even then it's tough sometimes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that yeah. Uh, yeah we wasting your time. Yeah. You got to, we do those, but we are almost always have the banners locked in. Like they're going to buy a banner. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that way, you yeah. know, you have your money. If you have, you know, all the seniors have a banner and they have a big banner or whatever, and then we'll shoot the rest of the, the team. But just going in there, just shooting T and I, whoo, that's tough, tough to, it's yeah. tough to keep that ball rolling from year to year. Unless yeah. your system and workflow is awesome, which mine isn't the best when it comes to that. So, And Rashad is a fantastic photographer. You can, I mean, he's really look at good. His headshot. So, That's what all his yeah, pictures look, look like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's really good. So yeah. if he's struggling with high schools, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a tough show. You got to get your money up front and that's just the way it is. You know, if they, mm. you got to be able to sell them a product that you can then go back and, you know, resell. Yeah. It, the other <laughs> stuff is just, you know, yeah. The, I, um, I literally do the schools because I, I love the kids and I love that part of it. And it, and I, I use the high schools for me personally. I already know I'm, I'm probably going to lose money on the gig every single time. But I go in and I, I play. And lately, yeah. I've just been playing with my lights and trying different things because it's a safe place to do that with. I'm not going to mess anything Absolutely. up too bad. Yes. Um, so, yeah, Nick, yeah, I had – yeah, we have the inverter. Matter of fact, what we used to do um, is we used to um, – um, when high sync was a thing, Ellen Chrome. So 
I was trying to figure out how to do the shallow depth of field um, for T and I shoots just because I want, you know, wanted that look. And I don't think that Godot's maybe just started, but not really. And then the only other companies that did it were the high end, the pro photos and the Ellen Chromes. And I was looking at the Ellen Chrome brochure one day and it said all the lights that are com compatible with high sync. And then they had all the lights that are, you know, $1,500 a piece. Right. And then they, at the bottom of their little list was a D light, the D light 400. And I was like, what in the hell? This is, that's their cheapest light. How is that light have, uh, I high thought, speed. you know, high speed sync, but it's actually high sync. And the reason was, is that that light had, it was their cheap light. So it had a really slow flash duration because most of the lights were made to have a, they're expensive if they had a high, uh, really fast uh, flash duration, right? So you could shoot action with it. So the cheaper lights had a slow, like the, it was just like a dragging flash. And so they could time their transmitter with that slow uh, flash duration and you could get high sync. It wasn't high speed sync. So it didn't diminish. Well, it didn't matter. You had to plug them in and um, it didn't really affect the power so much. We had, you could get 400 Watts of power out of that light. So I would have, um, I would have six D lights hooked up to two Honda generators. And what I would do is like, um, if you had two Honda generators, that was 2000 Watts that so could handle three lights going off at one time. Right. So we would put two of them together daisy chain them together and then we'd run one extension cord over to scott's three lights and one over to my three lights and that's how we ended up being able to fire uh use have six lights on two honda generators it was pretty wild hmm. yeah, yeah that's a lot yeah so that's what we did for a long time to get high speed sync that was our first experience with it and then uh finally you know once um godox was he, he had some viable products we switched over at that point yeah, I, I was so excited. Like I remember when Fotex came out or Fotix or whatever, they first started making the first flash mono light that could talk to each other. And I remember for years wanting that, like to do that without using uh, pocket wizards, right? It was finally a system that would communicate with a high, with a Which big power. This was called Fotix, I think. Fotix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fotix. Yeah. Yeah. And then Luma Pro came out with like a bunch of their uh, Flash 180, those 180 FPs or whatever. Those were mm. fantastic. I still have eight of those and they still fire. Every, like, yeah. Those are amazing. Flat. They, they just went out of business last year, which is sad because, man, they made the best flashes. And they were just manual and simple and awesome. But yeah, so then when Godox came out, I was like, this can't be real. Like you get a transmitter and it talks to everything and you have different power output. Like it was that's why they're so popular. It's not because they're necessarily cheaper. If any other company would have come out with that type of system first, they would be leading this pack. Hmm. I don't care how much they would have charged because it's such a convenience thing for all of those different light power and outputs to talk to one thing. It's, yes. it's the best thing ever created. If you ask me in the flash industry, nobody yeah, else has done it. Not like that. No. I mean, um, I was trying with, uh, Einstein's and alien bees. I had the, um, the radio popper. You remember radio popper? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That you had. I think you had to use those on the on the alien bees, right? It wasn't. It. Well, you no. You if you wanted to control the lights from your camera, you had to buy the Einsteins. And the Einsteins, then Pocket Wizard came out with a system <clears> that was supposed <throat> to be able to control. And it was just, it when it worked, it was great, but it would not work a lot of times. And then I tried the radio poppers, and that system was like the best receiver ever. Like the way that receiver was laid out. It was so good. And then they would just stop working. Just stop working. For no reason. For no reason. Just stop working. And so the one I switched to Ellen Chrome, the one good thing about the Ellen Chrome that I liked was that transmitter was really good, but it was five hundred dollars for the damn transmitter. It, but it was a little bit clunky. It was <laughs> it was a little bit of a learning curve. And um, like, you know, my dumb ass, I went my very first shoot. Um with the Ellen Chromes was a big salt a big football program. I was like, I'll figure it out. No problem. And that transmitter is not, it's, you have to figure it out. And so for the first <laughs> couple hours of that shoot, I was just cussing. I didn't know what the hell. Nothing was going right. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I, you know, brought the damn things out of the box like an idiot. So, you know, <laughs> you I mean, you transmitter on. There, you're like, oh, Nothing's man, working. This is going to be awesome. And I just went and tried to wing it thinking that I could do it. And yeah, yeah, I don't do that anymore. What but that's that? how we learn that's how we learn what we need i i was trying to understand what that means high schools are beating for us first youth leagues 
I don't know what that, that means. The high schools are better than youth, youth leagues? Are bet- they might be better for her than youth leagues? If that's the case, wow. I mean, maybe that's a Texas thing. <laughs> yeah, well, it depends the sport too, right? Mm-hmm. Because if you do football cheer, our football cheer programs are really big. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and baseball usually sells well at high school levels. Basketball, yeah. I mean, I, I got to agree with John Rivera. I give him crap for it, but it's probably the least selling thing. I really believe that after the last few years. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, I, I put be- everything I had into it this year and it was the worst for me. Like I put everything. Are they still those. not buying that? No. <laughs> we just took the gallery off. I'm done. We're done. Dude, when you when you took the gallery down, did anybody say anything? Not really. No. Two. Uh, we sold a few packs. We had to turn it back on for a few. But yeah, just. I think I really think people are just broke. I mean, that's what I have to believe because it can't be because the pictures were bad. God forbid it's my fault. No, no, those photos <laughs> are good. It, it, that photo is good. I think that's just such a strange. Um, and those are travel teams. Weird. Normally, they're travel better. teams. I wonder if that has anything to do with it. Hmm. I don't I don't most of those teams took like first and second in their divisions this year too like i see on facebook a lot they've been posted everybody's hmm. pretty stoked about it so which is awesome i mean yeah, the I, just, I still have them i'll never throw them away so if they ever really want them i still have them oh uh oh high scores are beating meaning i guess she's getting beat yeah uh, yeah yeah agreed yeah, yeah. Well, you got you have so many so many different people to deal with it when you go to a high school. You have the head secretary usually. You got the secretary for the athletic director. You got the athletic director. You got the yearbook advisor. You got the principal or vice principal. Sometimes, I mean, that's five real fast ones, mm-hmm. just off the top of my head. And if that group of people does not communicate well, you're all you're in the most trouble you've ever been in, and you don't even know it mm-hmm. until it's too late. So. Yeah, I, we usually are high school. We're, we don't do any high school. We're not the official photographers for any high schools. We just, um, when the booster club wants a little something different, they'll call us. And so they'll actually still, sometimes they even have two picture days. They'll have one with the school photographer and one with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, some That makes sense for the big booster stuff. I mean, yeah. they're going mean, to this- pay for the, the higher end product usually. Yeah, yeah. And I think, you know, some of the, the programs out here have a, a lot of money, you know. Um, North of Atlanta, there's some programs. Schools that are for the most big. part are broke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they the district all. clubs, they there's you know there's some big programs out here. So, but we can only take so many because the um you know with high schools they have to have like their programs have to be out at a certain time, and um we're not a high school. You know the the school photographers are set up for getting you know they can send out 20 crews in a in a weekend. You know, and we just don't, we aren't like that. We can do right. Um, two big shoots or we can do two mediums shoots and one small shoot in a day. That's it. That's all we have. That's all the photographers, all the gear that we have. So we're limited with how many high school programs, because the high school programs are big because there's like 300 uh, football and cheer. Typically it's going to be 300. So that's a, yeah, big, that's a big got, number yeah. for just, just football and cheer kids. That's a huge number. Yeah. And then we try to get the middle schoolers to come in and be part of it too. So it's a whole big day. And those day, those end up being good and they're hot. Ooh, they're hot hot yeah july but see, but see how much it takes to get to that though like you, you're grouping all these things together and adding that like just to just to make it you know worth that big 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 group of people to make make enough money to pay your people to go to that like mm-hmm. i wouldn't i i don't hardly make enough money at the end of some of those to pay two people to go let alone three yeah. so absolutely yeah we had one high school that was a so disappointing this year they didn't buy banners um which is a good thing is you if they buy the banners then you already have your money up front so the rest is is, is gravy pretty much mm-hmm. well it's like ross was saying here he says that yeah our high schools required to buy senior banners to make it worth their time i mean there's definitely little things like that that will if you if that's happening and you're shooting schools and you're doing good and you're making money i'm just speaking for myself personally like it doesn't work for me because i guess maybe i don't put enough effort to force those sales of the banners in Mm-hmm. but like when that one school calls me and says we got 10 seniors i will i will run there to help and be part of that because i love yeah. that mm-hmm. yeah. yeah we've gotten uh i don't know if i'll be able to get i want to say that i won't be able i'm gonna try to get some more instagram reels in that's been um it's funny because i think the um the reels that i were doing were blowing up you know and now they're you know 
doing the same thing. I think they're even better. Some of the ones I've done lately, I feel like are some of my best ones. I really like the last one you posted. I really liked the, um, you caught that jump. Perfect. That was good. Yeah. That, and that, you know, I love that. I've been, but man, you look bald in that. It's, oh they got to, they got to change the angle a little bit. Maybe, oh my God. maybe well, throw a hat back on. I thought you wore a hooey hat. So, so yeah, I got my hooey hat and I can't believe I forgot my hooey hat. Cause I've been tagging hooey in some of the Instagram reels. And they've actually been responding. So they're going to, they might send me some hats. So I'm excited about that. But, um, I was, I don't know why I forgot that. And, and two is like, you know, when you look at the the video in your camera, um, I didn't look that, I, I look bald. Okay. Let's first of all, but, but when, <laughs> when I, you know how, whatever compression that Instagram does. You're when blaming went, your balls. Oh my compression. Are we really yeah. having this chat right now in front of this many people, millions of people? Oh my gosh. It was zero, zero hair on my head. I have a little fuzz up there. Okay. <laughs> No, you don't. I just a little bit. Well, I, well this I is a little fuss. You don't yeah. have any of that. No, I went the uh, the get my hair cut, and I was like, just you know, do the whole thing with like a one guard. And she's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah. I was, I'm just tired. Of it. <laughs> and she did. I was, like, I was like, oh, oh, maybe I shouldn't. I, I guess I could never do that again. I'm at the age of my life where I can never ever just take it all off. Again. Just do it. No, I don't know that I. Can. I'm gonna let this grow. The top of my head forever is gonna keep growing. <laughs> <laughs> so bad you're gonna I mean, look ridiculous when uh, that gets long and you're old it's uh, gonna be yeah, awesome yeah i can't yeah. wait for that <laughs> yeah i got i'm gonna have to make some changes make some changes uh, i don't know what i'm gonna do well that's life that's what we talk about all the time is if we just have to constantly make changes to keep yeah. moving forward yeah well the thing i was gonna tell you is um first of all uh People on the still like on the comments, they think that I'm faking the damn. I know. I, I cannot believe. I'm like, how... what in the hell? I mean, I'm literally tethered with the tether tools cable. <laughs> you don't even cut it, and it's a mom. You know, again, you're showing it's slow. right there. It's <laughs> popping up on the screen. They, I guess they think that I'm editing. Maybe the photo. they they might think that you have presets in that Lightroom that's hitting it right when it comes in. Maybe yeah, that's what that, they're talking even, about. Even if you and did, it, so what? This, uh, you it, should it, have that. Oh, <laughs> right. Like, even if you did, I don't. But if if I did, um, you know, it's still good because it's you're basically done out of the camera. And I can't believe mm -hmm. people think that the only contrived part of it is, is that I'm like, I'll, I'll pick the athlete that I'm like, OK, well, the girl, the gymna gymnast girls, like I have been taking her photo for a very long time. When I show up there, she's got full makeup and she looks beautiful and like she's, she's excited. ready to she's, she's your client. excited yeah. about getting her pictures made. You know what I mean? She's so excited. So I'm excited. You know what I mean? So I'm like, okay, and I know she's so photogenic. You're gonna this is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to do it. So I know ahead of time at what athletes I'm gonna have. And I pull my computer out. I don't tether on every shoot. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I do not. Never outside, but inside. Um well I do in outside some, but Point is, I tell the coaches, I'm like, hey, we're going to do an Instagram for the gym. And usually, you know, we get about 100,000 views or whatever. So they're all fired up, you know. And um, so I'll keep some of the other gymnasts so they can cheer on during the whole process. So that's the but I tell them, I was like, look, I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to show you the, the screen and I want you guys to just react. I don't care if it's terrible, let me know it's terrible. Like, but if you love it, you know, be excited about it. That's, that's it. That's all I say. And then we yeah. take the photo and, you know, they get that. I mean, you could be able to see if they weren't natural reactions. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, it's like, yeah, you can tell. And I'm not, there's, I've got like 15 of those in my Instagram accounts. Like, there's no way I'm like setting that up every time. I don't have time to do all that stuff. They thought, you know? I, I mean, I didn't get, I only got like 4,000 views or 400 views maybe on my wrestling one. And there was people thinking that was fake out of 400 views. Yeah. It's just, it's so stupid. People, I mean, they, they get nasty. I deleted a lot of the comments because they get nasty and you know, I don't like them talking about kids like that, but, um, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm out of smoke. So I got to um, buy smoke. <laughs> I got to buy smoke. Let's put the little discount code in there. Oh, look at you getting fancy. Yes. Are we are we gonna throw up a low like a oh I don't know. No, you don't put it in the chat. You can just flash it on like, the screen. Yeah, I can't. Oh, someday we'll be professional at this. Yeah. Someday. Yeah, I'm working on it. I've got you know, got a nice setup going. Um, but yeah, not not quite there. Next week. Well, next week maybe we'll have some some you some put it in the so I love that you did that. Oh. He, yeah. put, he put the code over on the YouTube channel. So you guys have to go there and like and subscribe to see the code. Yes, you got to go subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, see the code um, for the atmospheric aer aerosol. So it's good. It's good. 15% off. 
It's actually good. It's it's a pretty good coat. I think too I don't have a fifteen percent off a photo day code. <laughs> That'd be nice. That would be nice. Be nice. And <laughs> they'd, so, um, they'd have to pay me five percent to use their <laughs> Yeah. We're working on Tether Tools code. We got to get Tether Tools code as well. Um, they, they've been great. Like that. Um, don't, you know, I'm not really excited about, I'm a little pissed off about Lightroom though. It's been a pain in the ass. Like I'm going to go over to Capture One, I think, for the I, Tether. Listen, I'm about to dump all Adobe. I've, I've, I'm starting to get really frustrated, especially being on a PC. It's really been challenging here this last, really? yeah, this last six months. I don't know what the heck is going on. Like, Premiere's crashing like crazy. Um, I'm thinking about going to Resolve for my video stuff. I think everybody's like it's everybody's abandoning Premiere Pro and going to Resolve right now for that specific reason. The hmm. crashing, the crashing hmm. is a nightmare. Hmm. And then now PixNub doesn't work on the new Windows update. It crashes after 500 face crops. No matter what, you could oh, do 250 God. face crops, what, and then you could do 250 on the Nether job, and it will still crash. So every 500 face crops, it just crashes the whole system. What? And it's an Adobe issue. It's not PixNub. And so now he's got to wait for Adobe to fix their problem. And this is like the third time in the last five years it's done it. Is there any other program that it works with that though besides Photoshop? No. And then you got, I mean, you just got to buy a Mac. It, Mac's update. So <laughs> Windows, he just posted this in his users group, which is fantastic. But so Mac's update happens with all their M1 chips and M2 chips and stuff. And, and it makes it faster. Made PixNub fly. Windows updates and it just crashes everything. <laughs> it right. Just breaks. Like that's the problem with PC right now. And it, they had an opportunity about five, six years ago when Macs were slowing down before they came out with their M1s, you know, with their big reveal of that. Macs kind of gave up on their old video stuff or their old video drivers, I think. I don't know what the what the reason was, but they got mm -hmm. slow. It's part of why I switched to PCs. I was, you know, my old iMac 27 inch 5K iMac was so slow. You know, after four years of having it, I was like, fine, I'm switching to PCs. It seems to be running really good. And that only lasted about five years now. And now Mac's back. So, yeah, Mac's back. Mac yeah. is really back. Like, yeah. really back. Yeah. I think I'm going to, like you said, those, those, um, what are those things? The minis? The Mac minis. Yeah. They're 500, nice 600 bucks. Yeah. And you do not need more than that for editing photos okay. and video. If All you right, don't have a bunch of apps on it, you, because you don't get a very big hard drive space in there. So if you're spending that lower amount of money, that's the problem. You're, so you have to have an external hard drive, obviously, but you can't, you're only going to put a few apps on that 256 megabyte hard drive. I want to show you something that I've been thinking about. I need to get, um, I need to get John Scott on. We, we, we talked about it, but I, I've kind of dropped the ball here because we got so busy. But I'm not sure if you've seen this um, before. Let me show it to you. Okay. I'm going to try to little hot swap it. there. Pro doc Western look digital. This, look at this thing. I'll never buy another Western digital though. So it's I can't sand disc. It's sand disc. I think see, see up the top. It says sand disc. Oh yeah. But I see it on the, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I think Western digital bought sand disc or vice versa. But <sighs> these, this is look at like it got like a station for your memory cards and also um, external hard drives. You see these little hard drives. You can like, so, and it's a docking station for um, Macs because, you know, you only have a certain amount of, you know, well, I mean, you have a MacBook Pro right now. I so. love the hot swap bays though and stuff like that's, yeah, I and need then, that in my you life. Have, you have additional USB-C, HDMI and Ethernet right there. So you can, so it frees up some um, spaces on your um, MacBook, which is really cool. Super so you smart. Can, yeah. Yeah, so you can have multiple screens, you have more USB C, and you get to do these little blades. Well, look deals. how much cost effective those are compared to the Synology stuff here lately, too. Like, well, I think this is just for one computer. I don't think that's for like a team of people. That's so. What's that bottom one? It says recommended products. Scroll down a little bit. Let's go up, 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 up. I think there's a little delay, but what's the big one? The Pro Blade Station. What's that? I don't know. I'm not quite sure know. what Pro Blade Station is, but they got some cool stuff. Yeah, they do. Yeah, maybe that's just the hot. Like, yeah, swapping out the. Um, yeah, and it's hard to find information on this. Like, I, I want to like, what is this? And you, you got this I, from John Scott. He told you about this. No, I saw it on. Um, I saw it on what you call it. Um, 
F stoppers. Hmm. F stoppers. Those guys are still around. Yes. Um, let me get you back up. Yeah. There we go. Um, F stoppers. F -stoppers hasn't been the same since they moved to Bermuda or wherever they live now. Puerto Rico. They, they like sold SLR Lounge and then now F stoppers is just not the same. It just hasn't been the same. Yeah. They got, well, they do a, that, you know, they did that whole, um, for, <laughs> they had to do that volume photography. They're, people that are actually making money in photography. Remember that? We talked that about that. That's right. We did talk about that. I forgot about that. And then yeah. they, they had Quancy's Pro Light Mods on there too. That's right. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. Um, yeah. You try that. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I'm going to go talk to Ed about this. Yeah. Ed's the man when it comes to that kind of stuff. But um, uh, what is it? Lee, is he the bald guy for F Stoppers? There's Lee and Patrick. I mm -hmm. don't know which one it is. What about Pi? Wasn't there Pi Jersa too or whatever? I don't know that he, 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 he did, did um, DSLR Lounge. I don't think he was a part of those guys. He's like in California. These guys were. From I thought South they were California. all buddies, though. They might be. I think they did work together, but I think the the F stop. I, and I could be wrong. I'm, I'm just from my knowledge. F stoppers is in Charleston, South Carolina. Then they moved to Puerto Rico. I just always remember Pi a lot because he just he was so good at teaching Lightroom back. In I the love Pi. Like, I bought his little presets. I I like Pi. Uh oh, Justin, you're green. I see that. What? Made the battery go dead in your camera. I'm plugged into USB. It shouldn't have. Hold tight. Hold tight. See, hmm. we're an hour in though. Yeah, we're out in almost there. Good thing my audio is separate. Maybe yeah, but the put something um, cute on my screen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so whoever the ball guy is, Lee, I think was him. Okay, I'm gonna. So we have to look at. So I think Lee was the guy that did the review. So he switched from Windows over to Mac, and he was like documenting his journey so it was pretty cool because i was pc as well and just like justin he's switching over to mac because of all the new products but one of his, his frustrations were that there wasn't a lot of ports on the max so he and he wanted to have i think the mac and two um, external monitors so he was trying to find a docking station none of them worked and then SanDisk sent him this docking station and he did a whole review on the docking station. And also they sent him memory cards and he shows how fast the memory cards were importing and all that sort of thing. So it was pretty fascinating and he recommended the product. So I just haven't bought it yet because I mean, it's 449, but then once you start buying all the pieces and parts, you probably can get up to a thousand, a little over a thousand dollars. So it's not something you're just going to, you know, just try out. You definitely need to, to research it before you buy that. How are you doing, Justin? Are you almost? I'm close. I'm just switching the battery. Stupid. See you guys. Well, we're we're at 57 minutes. <laughs> That's a long time. <laughs> so, all right. Are we gonna see? Are we waiting for you to see if you can Hold get on, it? You're gonna see me in a second. Oh, there he is. Almost USB mode. We're connecting. Oh, here we go. He's almost back. So, yeah, if anybody tries that sand disc or has one, that docking station, I'm really interested to see if that works before I drop. That Why top. is that doing that? I don't know. It, 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 it came back um, for a second. Is that that Sony, fancy Sony camera you had? Yeah. You're, you're gone. You're a goner. You're just going to have to say goodbye. Oh, there he is. Was it the battery? Yeah, it's just the battery, but it I says it's weird because it was charged. It said it had the charging symbol on the USB cable next to the battery, like it normally does. So it's supposed to be charging the battery, or at least not draining it while it's doing this. But I clearly have a setting wrong. Um. Oh, you know, I wanted to also um, tell everybody about um, that Canon has some crazy deals, and it, you might have to like act fast if you want to. Um, get a Canon. I think if you want to get an R3 right now, um, you can get at least a thousand dollars off that if you call John Scott. Um, and that also, sounds like it means they're coming out with something new. Uh, they're just trying to get mirrorless cameras. They're doing a trade in. They're doing a five hundred dollar instant rebate, like five hundred dollars if you trade any camera in, basically. And then you also can get retail. You can get whatever. Um, the, if you like, I have a bunch of R6s. So if I turn in R6, they would pay me for what that was worth as well. So if they give you $500 for, for example, on top of it, 
on top of that. So you can get, you know, some pretty big rebates. So if anybody switch wanting to switch over, <clears throat> get a new Canon camera, you might want to take advantage of that deal. This but it's Canon. Bucks. Yes. At, Sony's making it is doing a deal right now too, but it's not it's not as big of a deal as Canon. They're all good right now. They're all good. Yes. Yes, it doesn't matter what it's just a tool. It's just a tool you use to get your job done. <sighs> okay. Are we done? I, I don't I, I don't I just don't say that. That piss that I don't know if I they're all good, yes, but they're not I don't know how I feel about that statement. Maybe Why? Why? mirrorless. Maybe okay. I, I just I, I don't think that DSLR, I think you gotta get rid if you are shooting volume. With an online platform, I don't think DSLRs are the deal. I, I don't think that's the deal at all, but I'm not going to argue with people over it anymore. They're just not it. So I guess, yeah, if, if you took that, as I was saying, DSLRs are good. I mean, they're they're a tool, but they're not as good as mirrorless. I don't care what you're doing. Get rid of your DSLR. You're crazy <laughs> if you still use it. Crazy. Yeah. I mean, well, for this, this genre in, in particular, right? For this, I can't think of any genre where DSLR is better. Tell me where where that's better. In any, I, I don't know. I mean, you can get away with, you know, I mean, it, they're still viable. Like if you're just shooting a team photo or if you're shooting some action, maybe. Yeah. If you're shooting F8 all the time. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. Cause autofocus is not as good. You're right about that. I will say I still haven't found a file. Even the Fuji one is really good, but I don't know. That damn Nikon D850 was the best file I've ever seen in my life. Mm -hmm. Ever. Still, I think yeah, gosh, it was mega good. Pixel on that thing. But my my Fuji has more. I mean, it's yeah. great. The Fuji's phenomenal. There's it, they rival each other for sure. That D850 was nasty. It was good. I want to see the um. I, I really want to try this can the Sony though the San Sony with the new flip screen. <laughs> I I I'm talking about. I want to try it. I, know. I shoot Sony. I don't even know what he's talking about. How sad is that? Channel, I mean, it flips, and then you can the thing. Okay, this is what I like about it. It flips. The flip screen is really good. It's a combination of the Canon, which is not my favorite, and the Lumix, which is my favorite. So it can mm -hmm. do all the things that both those cameras can do, right? And then you can choose, like, I think they have um, different raw versions. Like, a, of course, you can go, I don't need a huge file. We're shooting well, they just files. started coming right. out with firmwares to change that. They're all, they're, they're all doing that now. You okay. can get a smaller raw version. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. But then the other thing I think that you can do, what they told me they could do, but the guy at um imaging couldn't figure it out was um you can um customize your aspect ratio the little crop lines inside the camera so you could tell that's awesome you, you yeah. could crop it on the fly like you tell yes. it pre before you shoot what you want that crop to look like on the back yeah that's right that's awesome yeah that's so those 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 few things those are three big deals i think um being able to choose your raw file size a good flip screen and then also having um the ability for those crop lines to be in there i haven't seen their level how's the level is it a skinny line or is it a big fat one like nikon um it's 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 skinny i i i don't use the level as often as i should for the volume stuff i use it for my real estate stuff but even then here i'll show you what it looks like it's pretty let me see hold I up mean, look. you can't go closer to the camera not to your face I know, but yeah, yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Yeah. Do you know how Nikon's is? They have that big circle in the middle. On the yeah, it kind of blocks everything. It blocks everything. Yeah, yeah. It's like a watermark. It's no yeah. good. Hmm. All right. Yeah. I uh, use it <laughs> Didn't you just uh, join in? I was talking about DSLRs. Huh? No BS. <laughs> oh, yeah. I just joined that group a few weeks ago. It's amazing how many of you volume people are in that group. Yeah, posting yeah. your and same they, stuff I see on the other groups. They went <laughs> wild with the fire. My God, I pulled up there and that thing was the the fire photos are absolutely you, wild. You know what's crazy to me about that group is like some of the pictures that come out of those major league teams, like in the bigger like it's 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 proof that it's who you know. Sometimes when I see some of that, so you right? see some photos. I see some good. photos that don't really rival some of ours. Sometimes I'm just gonna say it. Well, I think that there's a lot of photographers um, in these groups that could hold their own and in any professional athlete yes. organization. It's just they're they're not running in those circles. Yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. And I, I really don't want to. You know, I'm fine with where I'm at too. I, I am too. I just it's it's wild to think that you know when you want to get 
I, I always kind of my whole career, I've always like compared myself to like what that guy's doing. Is that am I am I on that level? Where am I in that, you know, in this whole realm of things? And mm-hmm. it doesn't matter what genre I'm in, whether it's real estate, weddings, seniors, this. I'm always comparing myself, right? I yeah. I don't know. I think that's human nature. You're not supposed to necessarily do that. And so then that, that makes you sometimes feel like you're not am I, am I a pro? Am I really a pro? I mean, I've, I just had this conversation with someone the other day and said, don't ever say that to me again. Cause I didn't, I told them oh, yeah, that yeah, that yeah, was yeah. not the case. I was like, that's not the case. hundred percent are a pro. Like, I don't ever want to hear right. you say that again. So, like, I mean, if you're, that's a great question. If, you, if you're making your living, like primary living, um, taking photos, you're a pro. hundred percent. I don't care if your pictures are bad or not. Yeah. This particular person's were not, but yeah. Right. Yeah. That's a good question though. There's also good business people and there's good photographers and those it's hard to find people that are both at the same time. So yeah, I'm a horrible good. business person. I yeah, think, it's good I'm okay at photography, so I make it. So um <laughs> well, well it's it's too it, you know, I feel like we have an advantage because you know, you have Emily working for you and I'm Karina working. <laughs> yeah, that is an advantage. Yeah, no, if you no. have, yeah. So that way you can, you know, that that works way better to have a big advantage, not having to pay somebody um, to mm-hmm. take that job. We pay for it in other ways, though. I was gonna say, <laughs> I'd rather just pay the monthly. Really, can I just get it? Can I write you a paycheck, babe? Can we just do that? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, that's funny. She's not listening, or I would have yeah. already had something tossed at me from across the room. Yeah. All right. See, she's well, busy we're working. Well, we're, I'm doing, uh, we're doing good. Well, one, once a week, we're doing good. Are we? Did we do it twice in one week? No, we did like three, four weeks in a row. Okay, it's been solid. How many so. do? We, how many episodes do we have? A bunch, a bunch of live ones. Yeah. Nice. The only problem with the YouTube channel is you pull up and it says videos, and it shows just two. Like, I wonder if we like, but you have to click on live. You click live, and you see a bunch. So, if somebody's bored out there and wants to go through all our YouTube videos and just clip awesome things that i've said we could clip those and put those yes. on there just page. justin because jay doesn't ever say anything worth right. hearing twice yeah, yeah. i mean it's right. worth once but not twice yeah. <laughs> we need to put justin on a loop oh uh, yeah just the loop just the beard shake on a loop yeah <laughs> we got to get that in slow-mo again did we get it <laughs> slow-mo one time I did a cartwheel in slow mo for crying no, out loud. Where's that? My very first TikTok, my one and only TikTok I ever did was of your slow motion beard shake. That was at the Gulf when we went down to. Yes. I've still I've been to the Gulf many times, never seen the ocean. It's always foggy. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> That's not true. Tampa, I saw it in Tampa. Oh, All right, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go make videos now. Okay. Your TikTok gotta videos gotta be your Insta- your reels. No, no, I gotta make videos for leagues and then um mm-hmm. we got a really busy weekend and we need to I need to address but right boot camp, figure out what we're doing. And yeah. we have to pick out a logo still. I haven't logged in and checked. Yes. Log in and check. Okay. All right, guys. All right. We'll see y'all next week.